everyone. It's Nancy Wethington with you, and this is my latest Button Farm Club project. I love this paper. Isn't it gorgeous? It's called Wildflower, and the album is a gatefold. And of course, you know they call it that because it opens in the center. And included with your kit is this latch. So let's open it. Or let me tell you about the outside first. I'm jumping the gun here. Okay, so these pieces, the front two layers, are um, backed in chipboard, which is included with your kit. And then this is from the paper, this is from the paper, isn't it pretty? And then this is all layered from the paper. And you will get these little brads that are included. Here we go, look how sweet they are. Whoops, sorry about that. And then the only other thing um, that's not included are the basics, of course. You will need scissors and and paper trimmer and all that good stuff. <clears throat> but when I uh, covered the binding, I did use a small decorative edge on the binding. And so you might want to um, find your favorite decorative edge and um, use it on the binding part. You don't have to, but I think it looks good. Let's go on the inside. Lift that up open it up and the first thing we have is the inside front cover and I've done an envelope with the paper and then an insert where you can use um, the this for either a couple of small photos or journaling or a combination of both and I love that that has the days of the week and then on the other front cover, I've done a little <coughs> trifold for more photos or journaling, however you want to do it. And that is tied with a piece of ribbon that's also included with your kit. Let me tie this up real quick and we'll move it along. Okay, looks like I've got there we go. Okay, now the inside center of your book is made so that the pages, uh, one goes to the left, one goes to the right, one goes to the left, one goes to the right, and there's four pages total. So let's start with the first one. This page opens and closes with a sliding belly band. And let me get this up here for you. All included, of course, some of it's pop-ups, so you will need pop-ups. So to open it, I slide this all the way up, and then the top will open. You can take the belly band off, and the bottom has a place for a date, our signature. These open up. And there's a place for a nice big photo here. So to close it up again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to slip the band on. Uh-huh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Slide this under. And the butterfly is popped up just a little so that the band will stop at the butterfly. So... That's page one. Okay, I'm going to flip it over. And the next two pages, and I'm only going to do, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you this, but I'm going to do this so that you see the left side first and then the right side. So these two pages, I like to coordinate the colors when I can. And I've done that with um, both a pocket here and a belly band here 
I slid a small tag with a brad behind the belly band and into the pocket. To open this, take the tag out, lift the top out from underneath, top, and I've added a card for a photo or journaling inside a larger pocket. Okay, to close, I'm going to close this up. Whoops, there we go. And put the tag in. That closes up that page. And the next page, again, colors are coordinated. I like to do that. This page has a pocket on the side flip. Open up the side flip and you have space for a 4x6 here and a larger photo here. Don't you love these colors? Okay, this is the last page on the left side opening. So on this one, I've done a couple of things. You have a very tiny little envelope here that's all decorated. Let me get that out of the light. These are chipboard pieces that you'll get with your kit. And then I've made a tall place for journaling. Or you can get tiny little photos in there too, which I love different size photos in my albums. I get a lot of my pictures done in, um, what are they called, wallet size, I think. And then this all opens, and you get a nice three-page spread. One side, a left side and right side are a little bit different sizes, but pretty much the same. And then a large photo in the center, or you can put a couple of them, and then this tuck behind. This is a pocket if you want to slip in more photos. And when this closes, this edge fits behind this flower. Yeah, right. There we go. <laughs> See? And then that closes up the page. Or at least that page. Then we're going to open it again. And we've got one simple page here with a large uh, photo area, another large photo area, or two smaller photos, and this uh, journaling tag is just a tuck behind for the ends of your photo. Okay, then we're going to move over to the right side. And I, I, let me just point this out. These are your gussets, and they're nice and thick and allow the pages to lay perfectly flat, which is really nice when you're looking at an album. I love that. So that construction is all included with your kit. Um, directions are very, very simple, just a little bit different from something that we've done before. On this page, I've done a cutout, I'm sorry, a large pocket here and then used cutouts from the collection and just <clears throat> put those at the top of the pocket to do something a little bit different that will definitely decorate the page. It's nice to do this and two um, large tags to put in the center, but it's nice to do this if you have leftover embellishments from the kit. You can do this with anything. And then down here you have space for another photo. I've included a tag and then a little band down here to stop anything that you would tuck inside this band. Okay, so we're going to open this. And let me do the right side first. And I've got all kinds of inserts in this pocket. Beautiful paper. And to coordinate with this other side, which we'll see in a minute, I've added some of the gray tones. 
but we have journaling cards and either again either journaling cards or photo cards and you can always put more photos in the pockets and then for this next page this is another belly band that will slide up I love him isn't he cute that's a piece of chipboard then this opens space for photo again these belly bands will slide right off open large photo or two small photos up here a large photo here close it up put the belly band back on well, yep oh and I just want to point out that I decorated a lot of these um, little things in the album with the tops of these tags the paper itself has tags and I just cut off the tops it was kind of a fun way to decorate okay and get in there there we go and then <clears throat> the last page has a flip up band <clears throat> excuse me a flip up band a space for journaling you can add photos here open it up nice big area for a large photo or two or three smaller photos a pocket close it up this is the decorations on the upper corner and then the inside this is actually the back of your album on the inside that one and this is the paper I was talking about before how cute is this paper so you get several of these on a piece on a sheet of 12 by 12 paper from wildflowers and I just would cut the tops off on this page I left it so you could put three wallet size photos here you could do your journaling here isn't that cute that pink and then I added some more uh, tucks for photos so that would be two four more photos just on these and your album is finished so we'll close it up and that is 